sisters, and we are both carriers of the CDH1 gene mutation. CDH1 is a gene mutation that puts us at a 83% risk of developing diffuse gastric cancer and a 52% chance of developing lobular breast cancer. And today we're going to talk to you about our story as far as how we found out that we were carriers of the gene mutation and the process that we've gone through since finding out the news. So we found out that we have the genetic mutation because our cousin was tested and asked that we be tested to help with her process. And sadly, we came out positive as well and it's led us down this journey and path on what to do with this knowledge. And um, so, yeah, so at first when I heard that my cousin had this genetic mutation and she was you know, scared about it. And she was telling the family that she was gonna have to have her stomach removed. This is what all the doctors were telling her. I just kind of laughed it off and thought, that's crazy, that's ridiculous. She has to have her stomach removed because of a gene. And so when she asked us to be tested, I thought, well, yeah, of course I'll get tested. I'm sure I don't have it. And if I did have it, there's no way I'd get my stomach removed. So we got the results back and I, you know, immediately kind of snapped into place and thought, oh my gosh, I need to start looking into this. It kind of put everything into perspective and made everything a reality when I didn't think that it was even a possibility that something like that could ever happen to us. I felt the very same way. I was like, stomach, how can you even live without a stomach? What's the point of even living if you don't have a stomach? Right. So then, so... So two of our cousins tested positive for the gene and they did so much research for us. Um, them and our aunt actually went to Stanford to talk to doctors who were very knowledgeable in the subject. So they gave us a lot of insight in what they learned in the matter. Yeah, they had like high uh, resolution uh, endoscopies and they sat down and spoke to genetic counselors and when, after they found about, out about our family history and that we don't have a long line of genetic or stomach cancer in our family, they actually recommended that we not have our stomachs removed and just keep a close eye on our stomachs through endoscopy. Right, because our aunt, so she made a family tree and looking down the line in our family, we see that there is a lot of breast cancer in our family. So the CDH1 gene in our family, they believe, is showing up in women as breast cancer and in men as colorectal, can colorectal cancer. So I think we have one family member in our family tree way down the line that had, we think, stomach cancer. It's not even definitive. So after my cousins and my aunt went to Stanford, they were actually kind of baffled by our family, as being that we have a 94-year-old grandfather who had CDH1, was a carrier, and did not have gastric cancer. Our aunt, who's in her 70s, does not have gastric cancer. Our mom, who's 60, no gastric cancer. Our cousin, who's 50. 50. And, and our other cousin who's in 40s. her late 40s. And then we don't, we are not showing up with gastric cancer either. Yeah, so they're thinking that our family is kind of rare in that sense and that no one is showing any signs of stomach cancer. So they're suggesting that we do not have our stomachs removed and that we do um, screening. screening every year. So we make it a point to every year schedule endoscopies and they also want us having annual MRIs of our breasts and annual um, mammograms, which Taylor and I have opted not to do because one of the risk factors for the mammograms and MRIs is cancer. So if we're doing that every six months, we're increasing our risk of cancer just by doing those testing. So right. we're really focusing on self breast exam and thermography. Mm -hmm. So finding out that we were CDH1 positive also kind of put fear into us for my children, I should say, and my cousin's children. Like, oh my, gosh, my no. kids have a 50% chance. <laughs> oh. It's scary. Right before I found out that I was CDH1 positive, I also was diagnosed with infertility. So for 
me, it was sort of a blessing in disguise um, because doing the process of in vitro fertilization, I was able to take the embryos that we had created, um, have them sent off for genetic testing where they could see which embryos had the CDH1 gene and which ones did not. And an interesting thing about that is that we were told that it's a 50-50% chance of being passed on to your offspring. And in our case, we had 14 embryos and nine of them had CDH1. So we were left with five embryos that did not have the gene. So it was more like a 70% pass on rate. So the process of IVF was extremely hard and difficult emotionally and physically. Um, me and Austin have been blessed with two children that I know do not have the CDH1 gene. Um, and yeah, so that was sort of a, a blessing in disguise, as you could say. So since our family was advised to not have our stomachs removed or have bilateral mastectomies, we've opted to eat a healthier diet. And that um, entailed organic, non-GMO, non Every morning we have smoothies, juices, we eat big salads, um, a lot more fruits and vegetables in our diet and less um, processed foods. And then another scare came for us. Um, the summer, I'm sorry, the spring of 2017, my dad, we're half sisters by the way, so we have different fathers. But my father was diagnosed with a stromal tumor, which is not related to CDH1, but it's actually a GIST tumor, a GIST tumor in his stomach. So um, after he had that removed, we all kind of had a scare again, and we started being way more proactive about our health and our nutrition. We started watching movies. I mean, there's so many great documentaries on what Netflix. The hell? What the health was the big one, really. And we also found the truth about cancer. And what's the juice movie? Fat, sick, and nearly dead. Yeah, so we've done the juice cleanses, like the 10 day juice cleanse. Right. After we watched that movie, we all went out and bought Pork a juice sober knife. Yeah. Yeah. But the big one, I think, was what the health. And that kind of, I mean, I remember mom texted us and she said, okay, I, this movie is wonderful. I'm starting this tomorrow. So I immediately watched it. You watched it. I watched it and too. I remember texting each other saying, okay, I'm totally on board. I'm going vegan. I can't believe we're doing this. Right. I was just like taken back at how these animals were being treated and what actually meat does to our bodies. Right. So we thought, I mean, with our gene and then with my dad having the stomach cancer, <clears throat> how could we ever eat animal product again? Right. Knowing. So Dairy, all of it. And then we were like binge watching everything. Right. Just finding, getting educated on truly being healthy and, and treating our bodies like from the inside out. Yeah. Instead of, you know, depending on doctors, depending on these scans that may or may not detect the type of cancer that we have. Yeah, because we were actually informed that you can't diagnose CDH1 through endoscopy, that it could only be found through autopsy. Right, because if you know, like the CDH1, gives you the um, diffuse. diffuse gastric cancer. So it doesn't show up as a ball. What happens is it grows in your stomach as like a web. So when they're doing the endoscopy, if they just, you know, take a small piece of your stomach that doesn't have the tumor, you know, there's no... Right, they may or may, may not get that area where the tumor is. Me and Polly started this channel to talk about, you know, our CDH1. And one of my posts on Instagram, I hashtagged CDH1, and my sister called me, and you were like, oh my gosh, did you know there's like all these tons of people out there that have CDH1 and are having their stomachs removed? So that's kind of been a whole nother thing for us. We're kind of rethinking, like, should we have our stomachs removed? Because right. everyone that we've heard stories from on there have said, They've had their stomachs removed and they've found cancer. And they also didn't have a family history of stomach, stomach cancer. Right. Or any um, symptoms. Very similar to our family. So yeah. we don't know if the information that we gathered from the genetic counselors was even accurate. Right. So we've been basing all of our decisions on 
these genetic counselors that we don't even know. But mm -hmm. listening to your stories and hearing what's happened to you has really opened our eyes to not only continuing to eat healthy, but also consider having our stomachs out. Right. And you guys make it look like it's not such a bad thing. You're living these lives, you're bodybuilders, you're traveling the world, you're still eating these great diets and mm -hmm. drinking wine and beer, having babies. Yep. So as of right now, I have a an endoscopy scheduled next Friday. I'll let you know about how that goes. And you have one scheduled July 17th. Yeah. And so we're kind of getting back into looking well, we're just focusing on spreading the word about um, genetics. That's such a huge thing going on right now, not only for CDH1, because that's so rare, but the BRCA genes that uh, like Angelina Jolie had, and they're, they're kind of almost encouraging people to get these tests done, but nobody really talks about what it does to your family and your and life. Like emotionally, it can right. cause depression and Fear. It's something that we live with every day. I mean, we think about it every second of every day, especially having kids, you know, worrying about their future. Did they have the CDH1 gene? Um, so I, we feel like you really need to think before you check that box. Like, right. Yeah. Do you want to know? Because when you find out, you've got to do the work. You know, is it better to know or is it better not to know? I still don't know. I don't know either. Yeah. So... So we try and live our life positive. We still have fun. We go out and we drink and we eat bad sometimes, of course. And you know, that could be a huge mistake. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> but we really want to spread the word on um, eating right and... Right, trying to live your best life even though you've kind of been dealt a crappy card. So for all of you that have been diagnosed with a gene mutation or have a strong family history of cancer, we're not saying that we have all the answers, but um, we're right along there with you and we're fighting it every day, every step of the way with you. Yeah, we'd love to have you on this journey with us. And uh, if you guys have any like suggestions for what we can do as far as, you know, the CDH1 gene, if you have any suggestions for us, just throw them on over to us. We'd love to hear it. Any stories, people who have other rare gene mutations, we'd love to hear from you and tell us how you're fighting your battle and what you've decided to do. Thanks for watching, okay. guys. <laughs> have a good day.